Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the voting plugin. Now this is a really awesome but simple plugin that allows your players to have a say in certain things on the server. So you can see a few examples here, they can vote either by command or sign. And you can see they can vote for day, night and different types of weather, they can vote to kick people, etc. So if you do 4 slash voting that will also bring up a GUI where you can choose what you want to vote for. But if you don't want to do that, you can use a sign instead. So then if we do forward slash voting help, that will show us the command. And then if we go ahead and do forward slash voting info, that will show a little bit of information about the plugin, the author and the version. As I mentioned, you can also use a command by doing forward slash voting day if you don't have a sign nearby. Then you can do forward slash voting agree or voting disagree if you want to approve or deny it. So let's show you how this works. If we right click the voting night sign, it will say it ends in 60 seconds. There's a bar at the top. And what we can do is either click agree or disagree. Now because I started it, it automatically says I agree. All we need for this to work is my other account, here he is, to vote for agree. And then we will win in a vote 2 to 0. And as you can see, the sun goes down rather quickly and here comes the moon and it has set to night. Now obviously if we didn't agree with this, we could go to day and put a vote for that. So my other account started the vote and then we have to click either agree or disagree. You can also do force us voting agree as I mentioned and the moon is going to rather swiftly go away and that is kind of how it works. Obviously you can make a bigger amount of time between each vote so people don't just spam it. I just set it to zero that way that I can just show you for this tutorial. And then if I do force us voting kick and my other account he can vote on whether he should be kicked or not. So let's see what he says and he's going to click agree. So in a result two to zero he agreed that he should be kicked from the server. So let's show you how to make these signs. So all you need to do is pop one down and on the top line we do two asterisks with voting and then two more asterisks. The second line is going to be the thing you vote for, so daytime in this case. Then we want to make agree and disagree signs. So two more asterisks and then vote and then two more asterisks on the top line. And then you put yes on the second line and surprise surprise for the disagree sign. Two asterisks, vote, two asterisks and then the second line just write no. And there you go, you've got three simple signs that players can use to vote for various things. Obviously you can make a big wall with all the different types of things people could vote for. So that is pretty much everything in game. We're going to head over to the config file now and see what we can edit in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and we've got a few things up here. So let's go into the GUI first of all. And in here we will simply find the GUI. We will have all the different types of things you can vote on and then the slot they're in and the material that represents them. So obviously you can change this, you can add more if you want to. Then we have the options.yml and this is pretty useful. It talks about various things like economy. So do you want to have to pay to vote? And then we've got the round duration of 60 seconds and then the pause. So that is the amount of time between two votes. Um, by default, this is 300 seconds. As you can see, I've set it to false. That means you can do one after another. You can spam it. I use that for my tutorial. Um, and the minimum amount of players too. So if this was for my actual server, I'd probably set this to, yeah, 300 seconds is good, that's five minutes. Then you've got the boss bar that's active and the color and the action bar as well. Then we've got the signs.yml and in here it's just going to be a list of all the different signs and their locations. Then we've got the voting units. Now this is probably the most important one. This is everything you're going to vote for. So if we have a look at the top, we've got the day vote. You can see the name is obviously day, the type is global, and the category is weather. And then it is active. You can set a start price, you can set a vote price, and you can restrict it to a particular world. The rain, you can set rain to true, lightning to true or false, and the duration as well in ticks. So down here we've got a custom one where you can kick a player, and as you can see, um, the category is custom, it's active, and the parameter is a player. And then the reason, it will be unknown unless specified. So my other account got an unknown reason. You could obviously change that. Um, and then the result is going to be kick. Uh, the, that's the player. And then the reason if it's specified. And then if you wanted to make one of your own events, you could copy and paste this. So you can give the event a name. It's going to be global, custom. And then you can set various pricing, restrictions, and then parameters. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.16. Um, this is a much more cool voting wall than I made. Um, the requirements, make sure you've got the ADL library. If you haven't, it won't work. And then we've got the categories, so weather and custom. 
and you got all the features, the commands and permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.